Hey, Caddy, are you ready to record this time? Yes. Because, you know, we've been falling behind. we got to do two episodes today. We know. But, 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 we... Boim them in! No! <laughs> I'm back. Just what I need. Two teenagers again. Fantastic. When you almost have heard I'm a real, real nerd People say I'm a fool But they never got the news that I'm a wild one Oh yeah, I'm a wild one You better turn it up Better keep the channel dialed Cause you're watching wild Mike and his real wild child Oh yeah, I'm a wild one You better turn it up Better keep the channel dialed Cause you're watching wild Mike Howdy folks, is Vile Mike here, and with me is two pains in my ass. What up, peoples? I'm Caddy Knight. And I am Quinn. And this week we watched two episodes of Lower Decks because I've been working way too much on my day job and couldn't get the damn episode out in time. The first episode we watched was Terminal Provocations, which has an overarching plot of some scavengers trying to get some their hands on some old Federation salvage, and of course the Cerritos won't let them. Attempting to load that cargo with their tractor beam. Oh no they didn't! Engage our tractor beam! Cerritos? More like Cerritos. Hey, leave the bad dad jokes to me around here. So, for the A-plot we meet a new character named Fletcher, who screws up more than Mariner, so I was like, this would be so much easier if I were smarter. And then I was like, wait, that computer's smart. Maybe it can make me smart. What? Endangers the ship. I'm sorry, you've got to call this in. But I'll get in trouble. If this thing gets loose, it could mess up the ship. And still somehow saves the day. Ensign Fletcher's brilliant improvisation, updating the isolinear core to weaponize it against the Drukmani, saved the Cerrito. Including getting Boimler's dream job on the Titan. A transfer to the Titan! Oh man! Whoa! Whoa, the Titan! Isn't that like your dream gig? Yeah, it is. Yeah, and he still gets fired within six days. I got freaking fired! Basically, he was a dude bro who probably shouldn't have been in Starfleet in the first place. And of course, they had to stick him on Earth, so we have to deal with him. I know what to do! You figured out how to fix it? I wish! No! We let this thing beat us up a little! Then later, we say that a Q showed up and caused all of this! SHUT, Shut UP! up! And the B-plot... Rothafer is helping Tendi learn to spacewalk, because she conveniently didn't go through it in the Academy. I never finished my spacewalk unit at the Academy! What? How did you graduate? I don't know! He just gave me a B and I didn't say anything! It must have been a clerical error. I'm a monster! Why didn't I just confess?! He... Introduces her to his program, Badgie. Hi, can I teach you a lesson? Oh, well, who's this little guy? This is Badgie. He's a virtual tutor who can walk you through any Starfleet exercise you can imagine. Who gets a little homicidal. What do you mean? I don't see anything wrong. We gotta keep going. He tries to kill his father. So? If I ever disappear from the channel, folks, you know what the reason is. Hey, father! So you better get me that bat leather phaser. Caddy, no killing your father. I always liked you. Just not today. Less now. <laughs> Alright, now for the questions about the episode. So, what do you hope was in the salvage? Marines, preferably slave girls. <laughs> oh, yeah. Caddy? What I hope was in it was broken tricorders, broken communicators, phasers, stuff that explodes! Father? I hope it's loaded with pads that prove that Star Trek Discovery is not in the prime timeline. So, what did you guys think of Fletcher? He's a frat brother. An annoying one at that. Who says you're not supposed to empty trash into the warp core? It all burns up anyway. Dude bro with no self-control. And he definitely deserved to get fired. A douchebag. All he's missing is an acoustic guitar. 
is a song I wrote last summer. It's called Water. Basically, he's a much worse version of Ransom. Now, what did you all think of Badger? Honestly, love him. He's adorable. So nice. I'm gonna wear your skin! <laughs> I love everything about him. He's best character, only second to Mariner. I'm going to burn your hearts in a fire! Father? He's evil Starfleet Clippy. Well, wait, no, wrong folder, wrong folder! Evil Clippy! Evil Clippy! <laughs> He's just an evil version of Fix-It Felix. I'm gonna slit your little green friend's throat and take a bath in her blood! Literally, same voice actor. That's gonna change how I watch Wreck-It Ralph from now on. Howdy folks, it's Vile Mike here, and I just wanted to do a special shout out to Cat Miller, aka Black Paws. She sent me a pair of stickers that she herself designed, and you can purchase on her T Public store. These are really clever and funny. She has some cool designs from Star Trek to DC Comics and some purely original designs. I like the Trust Me, I'm Harmless sticker because I'm truly harmless. Bull. Anyway, link is in the description, so please give her stuff a look and tell her Vile Mike sent you. Back to the review. And the next episode we watched was Much Ado About Boimler, where the command staff goes on a covert mission to plant some seeds. Very good. I've got to go. These Rulot seeds are highly volatile. I may be called to plant them at any moment. And they get a babysitting captain. I don't want some babysitter Jellico type hovering over us when we're already going to a bog planet, which is like the worst kind of planets as far as planets go. So the B-plot is Bloimler getting kind of messed up by Rutherford's, like, transporter mishap? <laughs> uh, oh man, I thought I solved this. What? And he ends up being sent to a special place called The Farm. The Farm Cures All. <laughs> it's magical. We get a new ship, we get a mutiny. Mutiny makes you traitors! Mutiny? You know, these are just props that we're using for our, our musical. Right, guys? Fun for the whole family. And a dog. Oh my god, you can't have her! What about that eyeball bat thing and the cube thing and the talking and the flying? Then I guess this is goodbye. Farewell, Tendi. May the suns shine upon you. It's adorable! It is a dog! It's cute! Alright, for the A-plot we have a substitute captain who turns out to be one of Mariner's friends and... Ramsey! Academy mates. Yes, she is! He's a friend. Who's basically a professional version of Mariner. Mariner screws up a bunch. Hey, are you on a different mission, or are you coming with us? Oh, uh, sorry, right, I'll just, uh... Mariner, the tricorders! Uh, um, I, you know, I think I left them in the transporter room! Initiate long-range scan. <clears throat> Mariner, if you don't mind... Oh, me! Right! <laughs> sure thing. Um, here we go... Sorry, uh, new boot. On, on purpose! purpose. You were taking a dive, weren't you? You figured out I was gonna offer you a spot on the Oakland. Yeah, well, maybe I didn't want my best friend trying to trick me into a job I didn't want. Whatever. But when they discover a derelict ship, she actually goes into badass mode and pretty much saves the day. I don't want to die in space! I don't want to die in space! We're all good! Pick her up. We have to get to the bridge. That's where we beamed in. There's a good chance we can still get a signal out. Using the same transporter from before. It's just cosmetic. It's just cosmetic! No! So, what did you guys think of Ramsey? Uptight Mariner, still cool. Hot, professional, loved her. I think she's going to end up to be more like Ramsey as the series goes on. Especially since, you know, they went to the academy together and one is still an ensign, the other one's made it up to captain. This is crazy! Wait, and you're a freaking captain now? Get those title bumps, girl! Yeah, I'm kind of a big deal. So, what did you guys think of the new ship? It doesn't really look like a Starfleet ship. There's no saucer on it. I'm not the biggest sh Star Trek fan, but I thought it looked pretty cool. It looks like a Starfleet ship and a Gothic Cathedral? Had a baby! Dark cool ship! Want! Gimme! So she went from Phaser to Batleth, and now she wants an entire warship. I'm doomed. Technically, it's a medic ship. True. 
it still will have weapons to defend itself. Yeah, um, past door levels. I don't, I don't get, get that, that reference. Never mind. Now, uh, what did you think of the farm? Pretty. I think I injured my spine a little bit during this episode. Maybe one of those nurses could uh, help me out with that. <laughs> I think one of those phasers hit me. Maybe I need to go, too. God, you two are gross. Well, that's it for the episode, folks. Tell us what you thought, where we were right, where we were wrong in the comments. Oh, and Caddy, say the thing. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell. Bye-bye! Wait, Quinn, you don't have a country sign-off. Say something! I'm still not good under pressure! Later, folks. What do you think was in the salvage? Mariah Slave Girls. Slime. <laughs> more o- more uh, Ryan. What? Actually, let me do Slime the whole thing. Girls. Sli- <laughs> more Ryan. Slime Girls. Yeah, I think this is going to be part of uh, Mariner's character development. Is she? I cannot talk right now. I inherited it from him. All right, I've been trying to get them to start talking about the B-plot, but they literally <laughs> just went on a 15-minute tangent about, about the dogs. different about the different words to describe dogs, I, and I honestly feel stupider <laughs> for having learned this. What? They're just the classifications. <laughs> and you need to know the different types of dogs. <laughs> like the borfs and the yips and the yappers, you need to know these things. Or the pupper. Yeah!